my name's Penny and today I wanted to talk about the books that I'm planning to read in January. I know that January is already a little bit on its way and also I've already read some of these books but I want to talk about it. The first book that I plan to read for January and that I did read for January was We Are Legion by Dennis E. Taylor which is the first book of the Bobiverse series. Um, I'm actually listening to these books on audiobook and I plan to finish the rest of the trilogy this month as well. It's basically about this guy who gets himself cryogenically frozen when he dies and when he wakes up he finds that he's been put into a spaceship and tasked with exploring the galaxy. So I'll probably go into more detail in my wrap up, but I really enjoyed the first book, especially the narrator, so I don't think I'll have any trouble completing the trilogy this month. In the next book I read is Nice Guys Bite, which is a novella in the Elemental Assassin series by Jennifer Estep. This series I think I'm reading now for like book number 16, it's a really long series about this assassin called Jin who has elemental powers but has also kind of built up this family throughout the series as she fights against the crime that goes on in Ashland where she lives. This novella is about Silvio, her assistant. It starts out as sort of a gay romance but of course being an elemental assassin book it turns into some kind of action murder adventure. And the next book that I plan to read and also that I did read already is the final book in the Thirst series by Christopher Pike. I talked about this a little bit in my December wrap up because I read the fourth book in December. In general the summary is... But I'm really glad that I finished this book because this is another series that I have now completed. Okay so we've finished now talking about the books that I've actually already read so we can just talk about purely planned books. So the next books that I'm planning to read is actually the Angel and Faith series that goes along Buffy season 10 which I read in December. Um, I got these four books out of the library although I was a little bit disappointed to discover that there is in fact five books in the series and the library doesn't have a physical copy of the last book. It does look like I can get it out on overdrive but that means I'm going to have to read it on my phone or maybe my iPad and I've definitely been enjoying reading these in physical copy so I'm a bit sad about that but still I'm really enjoying these books so I guess I will suck it out. Also I realize I never give a synopsis of Buffy or Angel and Faith books and really I think that's okay because if you don't know what Buffy is then what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? And the next book that I have started reading on my phone is called Born Lost by Melanie Braun which is the third book in the Touchstone series. So the Touchstone series is about this group of traveling performers who use magic in their performances but also one of the performers gets these visions and there's a whole bunch of stuff exploring their relationships. And there's also this hint of something else that's coming which I really hope will be explored more soon because the books are really long and the first two books were just like little hints of some kind of plot coming and I'm really, I really, really, really hope that the plot is going to come out soon. I believe in it. I believe it can. I don't know whether I actually believe but I want to. So I'm continuing with that series just because. Then another book that I'm actually really excited for this month is Beneath the Sugar Sky which technically comes out the 9th of January which is tomorrow. I have put a hold on the book in the library but there's already a queue of 12 people so I've also decided that if I see it in the bookshop I'm just going to buy it because I love that series so much that I know I'm going to want to own it eventually. So 
Beneath the Sugar Sky by Sean M. McGuire is the third book in the Wayward Children series, which is basically based around these children that have gone off to magical lands and then when they've come back, they struggle to fit back into regular life and so there's this halfway home where they can stay. The first book was a bit of a murder mystery and then the next two books have been uh, following some of the original characters in the journeys that they went on to their magical worlds. So I don't really know anything about what the third book is going to be about. I don't know which character is going to be about but I know that I love Sean Ann McGuire's writing and I love this world so I'm pretty confident I'm gonna love it. And I don't really know how much more time I'll have after that. I did just start a new job today which is exciting but also I really have no idea how much reading I'm gonna get done now that I'm back to work again so But if I have time, I'm going to read Steadfast, which is part of the Elemental Masters series by Mercedes Lackey. I cannot remember which book. I think like number 10 or something. Um, this series is basically set in historical Europe, primarily England, I think. And it, it basically follows a whole bunch of different elemental magicians. However, the twist is that each story is generally based on a particular fairy tale, although that's been less true in the later books, and I don't really know whether it's still true at this point. But maybe, maybe. Either way, when I was younger, Mercedes Lackey was my favorite author, and also my sister owns this whole series, so I've been working my way through it, it's another one of those series that I'm trying to get through, so since I borrowed this from my sister, if I get time, I should read it. And also up here, this is what I'm calling my TBR shelf now. Uh, I also have two more books, but to be honest, I think it is completely way too optimistic to think that I'll get to either of these, but one is Dragon's Eye, which is the next book in the Dragons of Pern series that I need to read uh, by Anne McCaffrey which is a classic series, so you should know, basically, dragons, spaceships, evil thread falling from a moon in outer space, I don't know. Uh, also, um, I have Colors of Chaos by Ellie Modisette Jr., which is the next book in the Saga of Recluse that I need to read. These books are ridiculously massive so I doubt even if I start this I doubt that I'll finish it but let's be honest I'm not probably not going to get to either of those books but I've got them there so if I get time I'll try and make progress on these two series so yeah those are the books that I am hoping to read this month on the list I've got three that I've already read two more audio books and four other books plus two bonus books. That's nine books plus the bonus books of two. I think nine is pretty optimistic for my normal holiday month. Holiday months aren't normal, Penny. <sighs> I wish holiday months were normal. Anyway, I think that's really optimistic, but also I'm feeling kind of optimistic. Let me know if you have read any of those these books. I'd love to talk to you about them if you have down in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.